at the state capitol for a high stakes debate over your property taxes. School funding is also at stake along with an effort to attract and keep businesses in the state. KETV Newswatch 7's Andrew Ozaki has this new story at 6. We are not the debate is underway on property tax relief. LB 974 would reduce valuations for tax purposes while sending $520 million in projected revenue to local school districts for the next three years. It's a solution that helps all the schools in Nebraska. It is a solution that helps all the property taxpayers in Nebraska. School leaders worry the bill takes control out of their hands by limiting their ability to raise property taxes and by tying their budgets to state funding that might not always be there. Senator Steve Lathrop is also concerned. So the thing that makes these school districts, large, small, and medium, nervous is what happens in the out years. These projections all look pretty good right now, but that's not going to be the reality going forward. The chair of the Revenue Committee doesn't know if the bill has enough votes to stay alive. I'm not sure I have 33, but I, we're really close. Senator Lou Ann Linehan says there's another factor. She says the fate of this bill is tied to another proposal many urban senators want, LB 720, the Imagine Nebraska Act. That would replace the state's current tax incentives to attract and retain businesses, which runs out this year. They're tied together. There's no untying them. And that's why the stakes are so high. This is the plan. If you don't like this plan, that's fine, but get in the room and help us fix it. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7.